Hello there Elements users. This is a video tutorial on how to convert a photograph like this, a nice color photograph, into a high key image. Now this is my little puppy Tabitha. She's about seven weeks old, eight weeks old when I took this picture. And uh, she's a miniature bull terrier. So that's all you need to know about Tabitha. Okay, the first thing we need to do to do this is turn this into black and white. Now there's different ways of doing it. <coughs> you can go to image mode grayscale or we can go on to our layers palette here and we can do hue and saturation turn the saturation right down to nothing okay and uh, you see tabby is now all black and white now we've got these two layers we gotta get rid of these two layers so what we're going to do is flatten the image and the next thing we're going to start getting rid of some of this darkness and some of the detail and we're going to do that again with the layers palette levels and here's our levels thingy our levels dialog so we're going to turn this up and let's see how it looks the layers thing sitting in there um, it's it's not too bad let's see we'll turn this up a bit okay let's go with that I have no idea how this is going to turn out I'm just kind of winging it here Okay, now again we got to flatten the layers down. Now we get rid of the layers palette. Okay, so there we are. There's Tabby in her leveled black and white state. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the dodge tool right here. It lives with the sponge and the burn. So let's turn this over here. And up at the top, I can't show it to you, but you've got your choices of how, how big your brush is. Uh, whether you're going to do mid-tone shadows or highlights and what your exposure is going to be. Now the first thing we want to do is get rid of all the background around Tabitha and so that's I'm going to use mid-tones and, and uh, then shadows. So here we go. We just start scrubbing it away with the dodge tool. And here we go. What we want it to be is black or is white. So I'm going to work away at this, and I'm not going to have you sit here and watch me do this. this is, that'd be ridiculous. So I'm going to pause this and finish it, and I'll come back and show you where we are, and then we'll go on to the next step. Sound okay to you? Yeah, well, you haven't got a choice, because that's what I'm going to do. See you in a minute. Hi, I'm back. Okay, I've taken care of most of the background. I left a bit of darkness in here. Uh, we can work on that. But I want to show you something else, too when you're using elements you have this thing called the undo history if you make a mistake or if you go too far and you don't you don't like what you've done you can always pop back here and we can just we can go right back we can go right back to the beginning if we want so it's uh, it's, it's really handy to have that so let's go back to where we were okay so having said all that there's uh, Tabby again with this needing some work and her face and just around in her beside her jowls there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the brush a bit bigger again I'm going to change my exposure down to to 50 percent okay so now I'm going to start taking this way and I'm using a Wacom pen of course I'm using a Wacom pen I'm using it in 203 to do this now I'm just going to start working away at here and you can see it's not coming away too quickly but it's coming away a bit lightening up her her body now I could choose to leave some of it in or take care of it, get rid of it all. The thing about this technique that the end result is always a very personal thing. What I like you may think is awful and what you like I may think you know sucks. So uh, you, you don't worry too much about pleasing anybody other than yourself because when you're finished and you show it to somebody they'll think it's amazing anyways. doesn't matter where you come from. So there we got the body pretty well gone. Now I want to clean up these ears a little bit here. Just take some off the ears. I'm pressing a bit lighter on here and just getting a bit of the ears gone there. See I don't want any blacks left. There we go. Over her eyeball here. Around the nose and on her nose here. And that's the line that marks the difference between head and shoulder. Now her eye patch. There we go. So that's coming along nicely. 
and you can work away at the edges. Now you're probably going to take a lot longer to do this than I am because I'm, I'm doing this for uh, to satisfy how much time I have available on the video. And uh, I got just a few minutes here and I'm up to five now. I don't want to bore you to tears forever. So there we go. That's uh, where I'm at with this now. I'm just going to keep working a bit and then I'll be finished and you will try this and you'll probably take a lot longer to do it because uh, you're going to be more critical of what you're doing than I am. So what you need to know is the steps and these are the steps. And how does she look now? She's looking kind of cool. So there you go. That's how you create one of these high key images. Now I did this with Tabitha on this. You can do it with anything. It looks really good with a portrait. And that's what I have on my site. If you came in off my site. If you're on YouTube, uh, then you don't see that. You have to go to my site, which is www.the-graphics-tablet.com. And you can see the, a portrait with this. Or you can create your own portrait, but I'd, I'd like you to come and visit my site. You know, I like visitors. Visitors are good. So there you go. That is creating the high key effect and uh, with the Photoshop elements. And uh, it's a really neat technique. And I hope you try it out and I hope you enjoy it. You'll probably get some really great uh, end results. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.